Hello and welcome to the Bear Games channel. I am the Bristly Bear and first of all, I do want to apologize because I have not been putting on very much content, certainly not as quick as I had hoped I would be. Um, different life things keep me busy. Uh, let me show you one. So as you can see, that is keeping me a little bit busy. But this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a little while. And it's not going to be as long as my usual videos. Uh, but I am going to be talking about three different sets of books that I just can't. For numerous reasons, I have tried them numerous times and just cannot seem to finish reading them. And these are fairly popular books, so I think especially one of them, one one series, is going to be very controversial. But today I'm going to be talking about three fantasy series that I just can't. Okay, the first series that I just can't is a series that isn't sword and sorcery fantasy it's more of a modern day fantasy story and i have tried reading this series at least three times and although i absolutely am fascinated and interested with the overall topic of the series for some reason i just bogged down on it and that is called the other land series by tad williams now, I do love the themes behind this set of books, and it's one reason that I have continued to try it over and over. And it features the idea of virtual reality. So it was one of the earlier ideas and books that came out with that theme. And I really, really wanted to get into this book and enjoy that theme. What I remember of it is it features mostly a woman named Rennie, who is trying to help her brother, who is very much an avid user of this virtual reality that they have available to them. And they go on to this wild landscape full of anything that you can think of, but has a very structured kind of cities that you can go to in this virtual reality. And her brother, who uses it constantly, ends up in a coma. And she's trying to figure out why. The doctors cannot explain the coma. And she is doing a search first in the real world um, and then later going on to the virtual reality landscape herself, trying to find her brother on it. And what I recall is that uh, there are some nefarious characters who have become lords of the various cities in this landscape, and one of them has basically captured the psyche of her brother, and he's not able to get away and wake up because of it. So she goes into this landscape and starts investigating it and ends up coming afoul of these nefarious characters in the virtual reality. And that's about as far as I have ever been able to get into it. Uh, Ted Williams as a writer, I feel really, I don't know if it's just that he just gets so interested in over explaining and creating his world that the story itself seems to get lost. But what I can tell you is that I certainly got lost. I tried, like I say, three times to get into this book. And I know that there are other um, side stories, corollary stories going on in this book. And I honestly can't even remember what they were. I mean, that's 
that's my overall impression of this series. And I tried, but it just seemed to just flitter off into things that I just wanted to scream. Can you just get back to the story, please? So I don't know if he's just so enamored with his world building that he kind of forgets to get back to the characters or what. But like I say, I have tried the Otherland series repeatedly and about the same place each time, I just kind of go, okay, I think I'm ready for something different. So my first uh, pick on this list is Otherland by Tad Williams. My second I Just Can't series is the Shannara series, written by Terry Brooks in, started in 1977. Now, Terry Brooks has written a lot of other series that I've totally enjoyed and been able to get into. For instance, the Landover series, which starts with the book Magic Kingdom for Sale. And I read those books and just enjoyed them thoroughly. But I tried Shannara. And I tried it at least a couple of times. I think I even tried just reading separate books uh, to see if I could get further into it. And I'm going to talk about what I, as I grew up, started calling high fantasy. Now, I know that the true definition of high fantasy is something that is set in a completely alternate world um, with magic and dragons and and you know the type of lord of the rings type of books and whereas low fantasy is something that focuses on fantasy that happens in the real world but i considered this high fantasy and to me what that meant was what i compared it to was lord of the rings and this is a fantasy series that really seriously gets down into the nitty-gritty of the world building and and the quest that these characters are on and most of what i would call high fantasy like the lord of the rings were just too heavy for me which is funny to say because there are quite a few books that are even in my other videos that by that definition you could call high fantasy, such as the Chronicles of Thomas Covenant, which very much features a group on a quest and it's very serious and very involved with an enormous world building experience, which I had no problem and have read over and over and over. But when it got to Shannara and other books like that that I called high fantasy, uh, they just lost my interest. They were just too serious, too involved, again, in talking about the world, almost to the point that it, the world and the world building was more important than the actual story going on in it. And I would always just kind of lose my interest and move on to something else. But with the Shannara series, I really did try, starting with Shino The Sword of Shannara. And I believe I actually managed to read all of that book the first time. And then I tried Elf Stones of Shannara because that sounded interesting to me. And I liked the idea of the Elf Stones reading the jacket cover. But again, partway through, I'd always get to a point where I would just kind of get bored. Frankly, that's the word for it. I was bored and there just wasn't anything, it wasn't moving anywhere that, that was holding my attention. So if I could put my finger on a specific element in these type of stories, as opposed to other stories that fit the same description, such as the Thomas Covenant books, or even the DeVere novels that I've also talked about, which is a huge epic story. Um, if I could put my finger on the thing that is keeping me from, from getting into these books, I would love to. And if any of you have thoughts on what those might be, or if you disagree with me, or if you have had the same experience, please let me know. Talk about it in my comments, because I would love to be able to point to why these particular books, which feature such similar things to other books I absolutely love just lose my interest and I move on. 
But the Sword of Shannara series is very much that epic trying to find um, a magical item so that you could go against the big bad. And I believe in this one, it is featuring a character, Ulm, who is trying to find the literal Sword of Shannara so that he can defeat um, this warlock character that's also at the same time trying to take over the kingdom. That's about all I can tell you, honestly. Uh, and that's after reading it a couple of times. Now, I have watched the TV series that came out a number of years ago, and I did not even realize until I watched that TV series that that story was taking place in our own Earth thousands of years from now. That, that they were on a post-apocalyptic version of our Earth and this story was going on. That is how little I was able to retain from this book. If I ever even realized that reading it, I don't even remember that. But I was quite shocked watching the TV series going, wow, that looks like they're in New York. Um, I never even got that from the books. So for all those reasons, that is why this is on this list and is one of the top three series that I just can't. Now, the last series on my book is the one that is going to be the most controversial. This is a book that ends up on all of the top 10 favorite book lists on every everybody's uh, reaction videos that I see. And that is The Wheel of Time books by Robert Jordan. Now, I have tried this series multiple times. And I even remember after the first time reading it, one of my partners at the time saying, you've just got to get to the, at least the third book, you know, when it really starts to get interesting. And I thought, is that good writing? Does it really take up till the third book before you really get into the story? To me, that's not good writing. Good writing is something that's going to grab you in that first book and just make you want to continue reading on and on. However, I tried. The first time I read it, I think I made it through the first novel and part of the second novel before I just kind of lost interest and moved on. Um, and then after talking to him, um, I gave it a try again. And he told me, I, I said, it just seems like a Lord of the Rings clone. It, it feels like someone that watched Lord of the Rings and was trying to capitalize on it. And he said, I know, I know, I know, but it, it veers away from that. You know, that, that's the thing that it starts with. But if you can stay with it, it goes different directions. And he's right. It absolutely does. However, the fascination with it did not for me. And again, this is a book that features a small group of, in this case, kids that are on an epic quest. And uh, if they don't finish it, it's going to destroy the entire world. Yes, uh, we've, we've read that story before. However, I, I give kudos to Robert Jordan. I do understand why people like him so much and why they like particularly these novels so much. However, again, there's just something I cannot put my finger on about this that just absolutely bored me. And I made it the second time. I know I made it into the second book. And when the TV series was going to be coming on, I wanted to refresh my memory. And because I really enjoy watching what a TV series or a movie will change about a book. It fascinates me to see something and go, why would they do that? I mean, why not just do what's in the book? I've always been fascinated by that dynamic in adaptations of books. And so I wanted to refresh my memory and I started these books a third time and I made it further because I was really pushing myself because I wanted to be able to compare it to what was going to come out in the TV series. And I made it through the second book and started the third before, again, I just got so bored by the whole thing that I had to move on to something else. I don't know what it is. And 
he very much has a rich world that he's built and the characters are very interesting although i can tell you that i didn't care to i didn't come to care about any of them as i read it they were all kind of equally interesting and they all go on to their individual little stories and what's going on with them but again i got to a point in it where i just kind of went uh yeah, no, and I'm sorry to say for all of you who absolutely love this series that this is the reaction that I have had to it, but I really, really have tried with this series. I very much enjoy the TV series. I very much am, like I say, fascinated by what they have changed and how they've restructured the the order of events but it's all coming to the same place in the end they've changed characters around and made them something other than they were and and i can see that after reading these books but honestly i'm glad it's getting to the point that it's going beyond what i've read because i'm kind of tired of comparing it it just i would rather just enjoy the tv series for the story they're making rather than the story they're trying to adapt and if you have had the same reaction to these books please mention it in the comments because all i see is everybody raving about these books and it it makes me feel like what's wrong with me that i'm not enjoying them so much but anyway that is the third book in my series of i just can't all right, there you have it. Three series that of the fantasy genre that I just can't. And please, I want to hear your comments and what you think about these books. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, it's all interesting for me to know. Um, if there are also books that you have read in the fantasy genre that are kind of the same reaction, you've really tried and, and just went, eh, I just can't do this. Um, I, I would like to know what they are because I want to be able to go, yes, I've read that and I can see why or whatever. So please let me know your thoughts on my three uh, series that I just can't. And if you would like and subscribe, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I do have a much more content that I have in my head that I want to put out. It's just a matter of finding time. So please bear with me. I will be putting out more in the near future. And for me, the Bristly Blair and the Bear Games channel, I want to thank you for watching and hope you have a great day.